Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and welcome back to yet another episode of Techtopia. Last episode we made the storage building you can see over my left shoulder. We also constructed my base with the magical glowing ender crystal up there. And we also constructed the town hall which actually has some nomads stood outside. Which hopefully we should be hiring today. Because in this episode I would like to get the very first villagers, excluding the architect and and the tradesmen of course, they are kind of a given. But today I would like to build the barracks and get ourselves some guards. So last episode I explained why we were getting some guards as the very first villagers, or at least that's what I had in mind and I've done some more thinking about it and decided that is in fact the best course of action. So in case you missed last episode let me give you the quick rundown on the idea right there. So our area where we are hoping to build our new elven fantasy village, this entire spot of land is going to be very very dangerous at night time especially. Mobs are going to be spawning like nothing else. It's going to be crazy here and if a villager doesn't make it back to their home before nightfall they're a goner because I cannot patrol this entire area all night long and you really shouldn't sleep all that much in Tectopia because it can damage the villagers happiness. So my thought was just to get the guards all done ready to begin with you know give them some armor and get them set up and then we can work on bringing all of the other villagers in and that hopefully should serve as some sort of protection if nightfall does happen to be a bit of a problem. I do have plans to actually light up this area a little bit. I may do some torch spam today not go completely overkill just a little bit here and there to try and help but yes that is the reason why we're doing the barracks first of all a little bit strange and unusual i know but hopefully it should pay off in the end or in the start of this village anyway Okay, let's just chuck the axe off the cliff. That's not what I tried to do. <laughs> anyway, so the night is about to come upon us and the sun is setting. So now would probably be a good time to go and craft a bunch of torches and do a little bit of that torch spam that I mentioned. I don't think I have any just sitting around. Probably not. Gonna have to craft some using my coal, wherever that is. Here we go. So yeah, I'm gonna make a bunch of torches and try and light this place up just a little bit and fingers crossed that should slow the mob spawn down ever so slightly. Just in time, the sun is rising and we have got it all lit up to a sufficient level. As you can see, there's still some creepers remaining and we're going to get some mobs spawning in here unless I did some serious torch spam, which I don't really want to do because this isn't a permanent lighting method. I do want to do some sort of hidden lighting or work with end rods maybe or just have some torches on. Even fence posts would be better than what this is. Oh, just about got that guy down there. This is just temporary, so don't worry too much if you think this looks absolutely terrible because, well, it does, for sure. <laughs> it won't be staying like this in the long run. And we only managed to suffer one creeper blast from that entire thing, which is pretty good. So I'm going to fill this on in and then think about what I want to do next in today's episode. The merchant and the nomads are heading into town and something I would like to do today, I'm not going to do it just yet because we're actually going to build the barracks up next I think, but I really need to add some bridges around here. We spoke a bit about that in the very first episode and there's quite a few spots actually, more than I originally thought there was. I only had three planned out in the beginning, but I could use one across here, mainly so the merchant and the nomads don't have to do what they're doing right now in just climbing down one side of the hill and directly back up the other. It would be nice if they could have a bridge stretching from this way uh, across the river down there. So that's something we'll get to eventually, but not just yet. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and build up the barracks. I've got it all designed and ready to go, and it's actually, I believe... The biggest building so far, bigger than the town hall, bigger than the storage room, it's pretty massive, it's really quite tall and magical, fantastical looking, very excited for you guys to see. 
No idea where it's actually going to go though. I think I'm going to have to put it over here where the, all of the homes are going to be positioned. Because I think that is where the villagers are going to be most vulnerable. So it makes sense to have the guard's main post be over here protecting them. Figured I would slap on the shaders for that time lapse, so hopefully you guys all enjoyed watching that with the pretty BSL shaders on. I was a little bit worried all of this torch spam was going to make this island look absolutely horrible, <laughs> make it look just super bright, but no, it's kind of just like these weird patches of light, which is fine. That's a very weird looking shadow. Is that from the beacon? Indeed. That's very strange. I've never noticed that before. <laughs> but anyway, let's talk about the barracks. So what comes to your mind when I ask you... What would an elven fantasy barracks look like? If you're anything like me, nothing came to mind. <laughs> I had no idea how to really make this look like a barracks building, somewhere where the guards would go to train to be warriors. The only thing I could think to do was to include stone, which is what we have at the bottom here. We got a big stonified bottom section of the barracks, which is kind of meant to like resemble the guards in a way, because they're a strong role in the village and this is a strong block. I don't know. <laughs> I just think it needed to have some stone in there. But yeah, the rest of the building, I really like. It's also kind of similar to the town hall. And I really do need to make sure when we're doing the rest of the builds in this village that I don't end up just making very close copies of all of the buildings. Because uh, otherwise this is going to look super duper boring. The storage room over here is much different to the rest. So I think that's fine. But yeah, these two kind of similar, similar in a way. So I do need to make sure I don't end up just making a bunch of the same builds. Otherwise it's going to look quite boring, right? So maybe down the line we add in a couple more blocks into our palette or change up the architecture design. I'm not really sure. But this build alone, I really quite like, especially the front of this part, this kind of like uh, sloped out roof here. I think I need to try and do this more. Um, it, it has a bit of an elven vibe, elven vibe to it, I definitely think, as opposed to just a straight up roof. So going to try to include that more. And I also really quite like, once again, we have one of our circular windows, similar to what we have at the front of the town hall over there. So yeah, that is what we have at the front. And if we swing around the back, you will notice we have this weird extension which is actually still going to count as part of the building because we're not going to have a doorway here or a wall of any kind it's just going to be open so it should still count as floor space and i'm thinking what we do in here is have the armor stands for them to train on out the back here and then we have all of the beds inside however i'm probably gonna block off the ceiling or just make like another one along this line right here because that looks kind of weird and ugly <laughs> so I don't really want that on show so I'm thinking we just make another ceiling along that line as I just said so yeah beds in here armor stands for training out there however first of all I need to get out I have no blocks on me other than a shulker box actually which I can use to my advantage <laughs> look at that pro moves 
I haven't bought the icon just yet, we'll do that in a minute, I think, but for right now, let me show you around all of the things I have done. So there's a little something over there which we'll get to in just a sec, but for right now, let's talk about this main room here. So, we basically have a bunch of beds, 10 to be exact, there's the max number of beds you can have in a barracks, number of guards you can have in here, and we got a bit of a table in the middle with some chairs going around, and then we have our armor stands out here for a bit of a training area out on this platform, which should look pretty cool if we ever catch one of the guards using these. It's not very often they do, but occasionally they give this a smack and it looks pretty good. But you may be thinking, isn't this going to be a bit overcrowded for 10 guards all in one building? Yes, definitely it would be if there were actually going to be 10 guards in here at all times, which there definitely isn't. Guards usually split 50-50 for the most part. Half of them will be patrolling and then the other half will be sleeping. It's actually usually a little bit less. There's more so out than actually in. So really there won't be many more than 7 guards at maximum, I doubt, in here at all times. And if that is the case, then we will have plenty of floor space for them not to feel overcrowded and hopefully enough chairs as well. I've only got four in here but it's not very often they sit on these guys. Uh, the icon is also massive for those of you who haven't seen that before. Kind of funny but yeah let's pop that back down. So they got their beds, they got their table, they got their armor stands for training up on this platform which I think should look really cool actually if we manage to see any of them smacking away at this uh, just off in the distance it's not very often they actually do that but every now and again they do so fingers crossed we'll be able to catch that at some point and I've also added in a better ceiling than what we had above this mess up here so yeah hopefully that looks a bit better not too sure it's it's quite dark you shouldn't really have dark ceilings because it makes the film uh, the film no the room where did I get film from? <laughs> I'm not sure. Must have films on my mind, but it makes the room feel... I probably combined the two there, didn't I? It makes the room feel much smaller and cramped, but... I think this one-off time, it's okay. It doesn't matter too much. But yeah, that's the beds, the table, the chairs, our armor stands out here. And I've also added a bit of an archery range. So I thought, you know, since this is an elven village, kind of, there's going to be elves living here. They like bows, right? <laughs> and yes, I am going to be naming my bow uh, to whatever we call this village in the same format as my other tools here. But we don't usually name the village until quite a few episodes in, just so we can get an idea of, uh, you know, how everything is looking, so we can think of name ideas much better. But yeah, I I've seen some comments already of people having that same idea, so I will be sure to do that, don't worry. But yeah, I thought I'd add a bit of an archery range over here, so I've just got a little place for them to stand and then some hay bales for them to shoot in various locations. Very long one off in the distance over there, and I thought... Maybe I'll try my hand at being an elf and see how well I can shoot this bow. Please don't hit that end crystal. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I was worried then that was that, that could have been really bad. Really bad indeed. Oh yes, we have a connection. Look at that, I did, these are all uh, practice shots. Yes, this was the one I really tried. I shouldn't be an elf, should I? Okay, I'll, I'll scratch it off the list. I'll, I'll stick to being a dwarf. <laughs> I'm not 100% certain I would even qualify for the School of Dwarves. I'm, I'm not sure if that's a thing, nor what the test would be to get into it, but <laughs> regardless, my bow shooting isn't as good as it used to be, that is for sure. I'm better at hitting moving targets, things that actually take damage, trust me. I'm, I'm not that bad, I promise. Look, I'll kill this sheep. Just kidding, I'm not going to do that. I'm not a monster. Or am I? 
I'm not. <laughs> I meant to do that. I meant to skim his head like that. Definitely. Anyway, let's get back to some building and stop messing around. So I think now what we're going to do, instead of uh, getting our guards actually in place, before we do that, we of course need to add in our bridges so they're able to actually traverse the land here. So... I spoke a bit about this in episode 51 where we want our bridges to be. We're going to have one here going across our custom river that we carved out. Another one leading from that point there to the town hall area. I think we wanted another one leading up to my base, although that isn't that much of a necessary uh, necess necessity at the moment. So if I don't manage to get that done, it's okay. The main two are here and here. The rest, uh, maybe we should have one over there actually would be a good idea. Basically, it's time to build some bridges. I would quite like it if all of the bridges in this village could be suspended in some way or another, potentially a bit like a rope bridge would be. I just think that suits the style a little bit more than having a straight line of blocks going across from one side to the other. So hopefully this is a bit more fantasy-esque. But anyway, the first thing we have to do is get some of our oak blocks and line them from one side to the other in a little bit of a curve. And then once we've got that done and the shape that we are happy with, we can then expand it on both sides using the same blocks just to make the bridge a little bit wider for the villagers to walk along. I don't actually know how often they're going to use these bridges because how the villagers get around in Tectopia with their pathfinding, it's basically they pick a point that's fastest from point A to point B. Sorry, they pick a route fastest from point A to point B. This bridge may not always be that, but I'm, I'm sure I'll get some use eventually, so it's probably better to make it wider than have it be super thin, which is why we're then going to have some fences as well on both of the sides using some of that spruce. And then, yeah, that kind of looks a bit ropish, maybe. We can use our imagination a little bit there, but either way, it's going to stop the villagers knocking each other off and possibly plummeting to their death, which we certainly don't want. So... That right there is the general shape of this bridge and what most of the others are kind of going to look like. And the final thing that I wanted to do, and I'm not sure if this looks good, you guys will have to let me know your opinion, but I'm hanging some lights underneath here. I'm not sure whether I've done too many or not enough or whether I need to change some of the blocks I'm using here, but I think it looks a bit fantastical in a way, <laughs> a bit magical maybe. Again, you guys let me know what you think. It's going to be very easy to remove these or add more on or change them up. So it's not that big of a deal if we do or don't like them. kind of forgot to add in the fences on that part of the barracks so that probably looked weird for a little while but we got it done what we have over on the other side so all is good it's looking normal once again and we also have all of our bridges in place the three that we've just built now and I've decided I'm not gonna do this diagonal one up here today at least I may return to it in a later episode but I messed around for like a good 45 minutes in a test world trying to come up with a diagonal bridge design that worked for the space we had and I just couldn't do it. <laughs> Every single thing I made, it just looked kind of weird. I mean, it, it wasn't something I really wanted to put in the village over here. So I may return to that at some point or another, but I also may not because I don't really need it. Like the villagers aren't going to be going up there. It's only me. And I almost always have my elytra with me. And even if I didn't, I could probably scale this mountain somehow. So I honestly may leave it unless I have a surge of inspiration uh, of something I can do up there. But yes, we have our small bridge over the little uh, river that we made uh, over here, which will probably only get use for the villagers that are coming to this island for whatever reason. Maybe we'll build, I don't know, what could go over here, the library possibly. Whatever build goes over there, that will get some use, I know that for sure. I'm hoping the middle one here will actually get quite a lot of use because this is my favorite one, I think. Right in the middle, it's got the varying lengths of all of the lanterns down below. Um, so fingers crossed that gets used, but one that I know will actually definitely get some use. <gasps> 
we might actually see it happening here. Oh, here come the nomads and the merchant. Oh, they're definitely going to cross this thing, aren't they? Oh, yes. Look at it go. <laughs> that is awesome. Look at them cross that bridge. Way to go, guys. That is actually really awesome. <laughs> I didn't know you were coming. Well, welcome. Welcome. Glad to have you here. But, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's really cool. <laughs> so there's the other bridge and, yeah, the other two, like I said. We may add some more further down the line. But for right now, that is actually all of the building that I had planned done for today's episode. We are nearly in a position... Where are you guys going? Down the cliff? <laughs> Need a better route for you guys. But yeah, we're nearly in the position where we can get our first villagers in the guards. But before we do, I just want to head over to another village and grab some iron and kind of get them geared up a little bit because the storage room is actually completely empty at the moment. And if I get some guards, they're going to die of starvation or something so I just need to nab some other stuff from my supplies and the other villages and then we can get them set up. Nomad failed to find a way to the village. I'm not so sure they did. <laughs> this keeps happening to me. This pops up in the bottom corner like every single day and it must just be a bug because yeah these guys always make it so not sure if that's something you guys get or if it's just me. <laughs> I guess let me know in the comments and I can know if it's a problem on my end. But anyway I am off to fly all the way to Mecklen's Vale. Just behind me there is the undergrowth. I'm fairly certain I have to keep going in this direction for about 400 more blocks. And here we are, all the way to Mecklen's Vale. It's a straight shot from the elven village past the undergrowth and yeah, we eventually end up here. So as I said, we are here to nab some resources. I know this is a little bit cheaty, but I mean, I did get these resources by working hard in this village. I say I, all of my wonderful villagers. So there should be some chests around here <laughs> with a butt ton of iron. I need one, two, three stacks and 48, enough to make 10 sets of iron armor. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of food. I think carrots are a good uh, thing we can grab. So not too overpowered. Not going to grab like steak or anything. Just something so my guards don't starve to death. Ten pairs of boots. Ten pairs of leggings. Ten chest plates. And ten helmets. As well as all of these carrots which we can now dump off into this chest. Ready for our guards to gobble all of this stuff up. So if you don't already know, in Tectopia villagers will literally grab anything that they can wear from these chests. It doesn't necessarily have to be a villager item. So you can see the carrots down here with the green text. Those are in fact villager items. Because I've made these myself, they are just regular items. But in theory, they should still put it on. I am dual wielding my emeralds because we are off to the town hall so we can buy ourselves some stuff. Preferably some barracks and some guards. So if we head on inside, I've got my emeralds all divvied up, ready to give to these guys. So if we buy from the architect first of all, scroll along a little bit, we should see some barracks for 35 emeralds somewhere around here. There it is. So it's actually quite good we're doing this first of all because this is usually a pretty expensive thing that we have to purchase and at the start of a village everything is very very cheap which is nice and we have our four stacks of emeralds that we uh, brought along from the previous village so this is actually quite nice to begin with here. Uh, a lot of you guys also said that I should bring more emeralds next time so maybe let me know what you think about that. Is four not enough? Should we bring five? Maybe even six? I mean I'll take as many as I want. Where are these guards? There they go. Okay so uh, we want ten of them that's correct. We're getting all 10 guards. There's that uh, Techtopia hat we can get if we become a patron. But yes, that's a lot of tokens I now have to hand out. <laughs> Gotta wait for a bunch of nomads to come in. But first things first, let's get our barracks and place it in the item frame over here. Hopefully it goes all shiny as it always does. Never fails me. At least not sometimes. Kind of forgot I had to make some swords for our guards, otherwise they're going to be hitting with their fists and or just boring wooden swords and that's not going to do any damage. So I'm going to go put these in the storage hall as well. Is it really a hall? It's more of a tower. I don't know what to call this. We're putting it in the storage building, okay? Yep. Okay, in you go. There's not enough room. Okay, in you go. <laughs> Alright, now we wait for some nomads. Oh, you're already outside of the town hall, I see. Okay, fair enough. I guess I will stop waiting and just come over to you guys and see how we are diddling. So who have we got? Soraya, 
Malfier, uh, what's your name? Loreali? Is that Targaryen? No, Dargan. <laughs> Thought I had a, a just Game of Thrones relative in here. And Marcus Hindergrass, that's an awesome name. Okay, all four of you are going to become guards because I literally have no better options. <laughs> Sorry, that makes me feel kind of bad saying that to you as I'm just giving you a new job here. Nobody move, have any sudden movements, otherwise they're going to misclick. And there we go. First four villagers. Who did I click on first? Was it Marcus? I'm not even sure. <laughs> you guys will have to let me know. But guys, go get some armor. Oh, they're using the bridge. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. You guys are not because you're stupid. Whoever that is, you're my favorite. Let's find out real quick, actually. You, sir, or ma'am, sorry, you're my favorite. Oh, Targaryen, Daenerys <laughs> is now your nickname. Maybe I should give her a name tag and call her that instead. Okay, guys, really, where are you going? Oh, to the barracks? Do you not want to, like, grab some armor first, maybe? Obviously not. Okay, fair enough. You do you, boys. You do you. And girl. You know, it's getting kind of late for me right now. I think my elytra just broke. There's another reason why we're going to be saying goodbye. But yeah, I think we're going to hand out the rest of these at the start of next episode. As I said, it's, it's nearly time for me to go to bed. And I want to try and edit this video before I do that. And I don't really feel like waiting several days for a bunch of nomads to turn up. So we'll make sure we do this at the start of next episode. Get all of our guards. Look at the bridge being used. Oh, it's so good. And they're not even that pushy on it either. Which is just wonderful. Can I make this jump? without my elytra no <laughs> is the simple answer but we do have uh, two guards on patrol right now as you just saw crossing over that bridge there I think another one has just woken up go get some armor thank you very much but the other one is in here having a good old snooze I can hear him from a mile away but yes guys that is gonna be it for today's episode thank you so much for watching I really hope you did enjoy I've had a ton of fun making this as I always do with Tectopia it's always a blast so thank you guys so much for watching to get uh, Daenerys is trying to get in the door I think she's a little bit stuck there we are <laughs> but thank you guys you're all awesome and I will see you next time bye for now